Yo, what's up? Hey, what's up? Hello. We're back again. I don't know the lyrics past that. Hey, what's up? Hello. Seeing your pretty face as soon as you came Z through the door. Oh, yeah. Okay. I, I know well, some of it. Wait, do we get a special card if we are both the same? If we are the same. No, I thought there was something. Whatever. I'm going to stay as DK. I could be little Donkey Kong. I don't even know. DK Jr.? Is he, is he Jr.? What is that? Diddy Kong? <sighs> yeah, there you go. There it is. I knew it. I he, got there. He has his own racing game. Slowly. No, I like having two separate um, specials. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. So, But anyway, we're back. Double the fun. So we did uh, we did Mushroom Cup last time. And we're going to jump into... We did. We got number one. Numero uno. Because we are number one. Yeah, we are. Do, do you remember that meme that was happening for a while? No. Oh. Well, I'll show you it after this. It was from uh, Lazy Town, I think. Oh, I think I do. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I think I do remember. One, go. Yeah. All right, that works. Ish. Ish. Yeah, yeah, ish. It worked enough. I mean, we didn't explode, so that that's ultimately, I feel like that's the goal, yeah. overwhelmingly. At the end of the day. Yeah. Don't. Okay, if we get don't boost. Up. No, no boost. Okay. Kia. Oh, you might have that. Oh, oh. fuck. So close. I really thought you had so it. So close. I'm doing oh, better. Fuck you. fuck you guys. I'm doing better with the green shell than I think I've ever done before, and I think it's because I just get to focus on that. <laughs> right. So. <laughs> mm, I'm not going to go up there yet. I don't trust that. I'm going to start, like, trying to get stuff. And do it, do fuck it. you guys. Bang. Yeah, I'm going to bump into you too. Fuck you. Yeah. Oh, that didn't really work out. <laughs> just kidding. That was worse <laughs> for us. We're real sorry. Do you think, and this is getting maybe off time. Oh my god, good dodge. Um, do you think that maybe this throw, wait, throw it back, throw it back. This generation. Yeah. Oh my god, what timing? Uh, is too coddled. Um, probably, to some degree. Oh, I thought you were. I think even funny. our generation is pretty coddled. Yeah, I I like to think of it though in the sense of like we were the last generation that like fucking played outside. Because we were, we're that solid in between where it was like uh, uh, summer break. My, my Throwback. dad used to. That's not. You, you pay ah. attention to what I want. Oh, God. Um, my biological dad would literally lock me and my brother and my sister outside and be like, it's going to be a nice day. Go outside. <laughs> and that's what we did. And like forever. Go like ahead, we. Oh, no. My bad. We would uh, we'd just go outside, and then we'd come back in when the streetlights were, were on, and we'd eat dinner, and then we'd go back outside and, like, build forts and, like, just, like... I, oh, that was the third. Oh, wow. That was fast. It was fast. Like, I got so many ticks on my body as a young child, which is probably you may bad. have Lyme. I might have Lyme's disease. But, like, we just went and explored trails and, like, did stuff like that. And, like, I don't know anyone under our age that's been like yeah so when i went outside and rode my bike it's like what oh you mean people who are like 20 now yeah because um they i yeah i mean there's definitely uh less outdoor stuff i mean i um i was listening to one of the more recent rogan podcasts you want and, to toss uh, that to me oh that's right my bad you're good and um, I think Tim Kennedy is who we had on. Ooh, I like Tim Kennedy. He's a good fighter. Yeah, and he was he was saying that the special forces is having issue just getting, and I think even just the army just getting the normal amount of potential recruits. Yeah, because people are not like they they're not passing the the minimum bar. <laughs> yeah, they're not even almost in shape. Yeah, which I don't know if that's a if I would call that a coddling thing. Or just a societal change where so much of what we do is outside. Yeah. And uh, yeah, throw that. And I also think that there's way too much focus on people going to college. Yeah. I mean, there's there's like my dad talks about it when he was young. Like there was people you knew were going to go to college, and then there was people like him where he's a mechanic. Like that's what he does, and that's what he's really, really, really good at, and that's his passion. And like. We need people like that, and yeah, exactly. slowly, slowly, there's going to be less and less people like that, and that's unfortunate. And I mean, the robots will take over anyway, but but until then, until exactly until then, we need people like that Fuck. because oh damn it, dragging my body. <laughs> 
Yeah, I mean, like, my, uh, my stepbrother, he went, I don't, I don't know if he has his AA, but I know he went, um, uh, he did the reserves, so he's in the reserves, yeah. and then right now he's doing, like, cable installation, but for fun, he does welding stuff. Oh, that's so cool. So it's, like, a real skill that yeah. they make good fucking money. Oh, welders make great money, which is kind of, like, good for them. Like, yeah. that's I a... Mean, so it's, it's a super needed skill. Yeah. In... In life, even like shit, everyday life, like you could find a use for welding, so many things, in, yeah. <laughs> in, in just your daily. He uh, he modified his uh, his motorcycle, but he he just did it in a weird way. So there was no support under the seat. Yeah. But it was like um, I can't think of a building or anything that's like it. But take a triangle and then just take out one support. Oh. Yeah. I mean, it worked out because the metal's super strong. Yeah. But well, uh, he I mean, he's it. he's not dead. <laughs> so, that's all that matters really so it, it clearly works as long as he is alive we are good but yeah I think I think that's the the big thing is that there's so much focus on on college we're so fat as a country oh yeah I mean it's not much better anywhere else like I go to Disney every once in a while and it's just like man like you don't see this many fat people at Universal it's a real thing. Like, I compare actively, and I'm like, there's less fat people at Universal than there are at Disney, because Disney people can afford to be fat. Oh, that's a good point. Like, Disney's just more expensive to go to. It's like, that expensive. When I, yeah, when I was making... Try pressing left and right when I do that. this, like right now. I'm doing it. Okay. Because you can get um, bigger boosts, and I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Cool, cool. But. Um, but yeah, I had a, I had a universal pass when I was making less money than I am currently because it was just, it was so cheap. Like and I was cost like, effective. Yeah. I was like, why not? It's like $11 a month for me to be able to go to universal whenever I want. Why not? And Disney is just like, I just recently got a Disney pass and fuck you and in the pool. <laughs> yeah. And, um, that's still only a pat like my universal pass was no blackout dates. I could go whenever I wanted. I could do what I wanted, blah, blah, blah. My Disney one, I can go Monday through Friday until the busy season. And then oh, I can't Oh, it's specialized go like that? Yup. That's annoying. Yeah, it's not great. I mean, how, how much are the passes? Uh, the one I have is like a little over 200 Throwback. bucks. 200? Yeah. Oh, that's not... I thought they, like, started at 350 or something. Well, it's not a... It's because it's not a, a seasonal. Or I guess it is a seasonal. It's not a, like, year-long pass, technically, because I have, like, four months where I can't use it. Oh, yeah. So, it's like... But those are, those are the summer months, right? Yeah, I don't want to go to Disney <laughs> in the summer anyway. No. It's way too hot. I went with my family. So, my, my family comes down every year. I don't know if you guys know. Again, just learning you about me. Um... My family comes down every year for a week in June, or at least they, they will this year. I think this year will be their last year because my sister's graduating. And um, I go with them like two or three times to Disney. And I think it was last year or maybe two years ago. It was two years ago. I remember because it was before my mom got sick. I was there with them and they got on Splash Mountain and it was just the hottest day mm -hmm. I have ever experienced in my life and in, in the eight years I've lived in Orlando. I, w I literally got there, which is not close to where we live, by the way. Disney is not like around the corner. Yeah, it's, like, it's a solid like 45. Yeah, it's a 45 minute to an hour drive, depending on the traffic getting to Disney. And by the time I got there, I was like, they were in Splash Mountain. I was with them for like an hour. Sweat was dripping off the back of my hair. That's how hot it was. My mm -hmm. scalp was sweating, and it was just going down the back of my Ugh, neck. Gross. And I was like, no. I was like, guys, you, uh, we can either go back to the resort, and I'll hang out with you guys, or if you guys are going to stay here, I'm, I'm leaving. I'm going home. <laughs> and they were like, we're going to stay. We have fast passes for blah, blah, blah. And I was like, okay, cool. Have fun. Bye. And I fucking left. I was not about that life. And it's like at that point, the, the water rides aren't even fun. No. It's like you're taking a shower. Because it's warm. It's warm and it just stays warm. Yeah. There's no there's no pleasantness to it whatsoever. Yeah, good one. Suck our DX. Uh, how do you feel about water parks now as an adult? Um okay, so I was Throw just it. I was just uh, talking Ooh, good save. Yeah. I was uh, I was just talking about this with somebody the other day. I want to get a water park pass, mm -hmm. but 
I foresee myself not doing very much. Like, I see myself using it Do occasionally. It. And in the sense of, like, off-season times, mm -hmm. I'll get the most money for it. Or most bang for my buck or whatever. Fuck. But they're kind of gross. That's what I was getting at. Yeah. It, when I was younger, did not care. No. Now I think about it, I'm like, I don't want diseases. <laughs> I'm an adult man, and I'm like, ooh, there is just urine everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. There's just, just, just so much urine. Yeah, there's something everywhere. about paying taxes that makes you realize uh, <laughs> how gross water parks are. Fair. I mean, it changes your life. That was so funny. One of the things, I don't know if you guys li well, listen to our podcast or maybe you just listen to our Let's Plays, but we were talking about it with Jorge on, on the podcast we recorded today. And it was just like one of those things where I was talking. I don't even remember throw what it, I wrote. Go, 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 go. Oh, I, don't oh, even, I thought that was the, the I, last one. I also thought that. Weird. Um, I don't even remember what I was talking about, but I was like, yeah, I learned so-and-so. And he goes, yeah, but did they teach you how to do taxes? And I was like, no. He goes, yeah, thanks for that, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what was that about? I don't remember. But it's it's so true. Like, of all the things, Shit. oh god, of all the things that we should have learned in school, taxes should have been one of them, and it absolutely was not. No, it's all H and R Block now. Well, that's true. Or turbo tax. Turbo. I turbo tax everything. Yeah. Fuck. You did it, ish. Oh no. Oh, we're, Waluigi's pretty close, but I think we're okay. We, oh, he just he just made spinny spins. Yeah, fuck you. Ah! Sucker dick. Dank. Respect. What were we talking about where it wasn't taxes? Like, when, what school taught us? I don't remember. I honestly don't remember. It was, it was so many hours ago now. I know. It was literally a day ago. It's, wow. It's it was Sunday. yesterday. It's now Sunday. Where And guys, I hope you're as excited as we are. But we're uh, we're gonna be playing some D and D today, and that's just that's my new obsession in life. D and D, like I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> it's so much fun. It's so much fun, and I feel like such a weirdo. And it, like a small part of me is like, you're strange. You like this game that is strange. But then there's an even bigger part of me that's like, why weren't you doing this years ago? Yeah, like the way I see it is that um, there's a negative connotation. I feel there's like. a negative connotation, but that's all it is. Is a connotation, and yeah. and we'll we'll pick this up on the next one because we just got first place again uh, in every fucking race too. God, we're amazing. We won a gold trophy and got the Waluigi Racer. Oh my god, that's intense. It's intense. We're probably what? It's inside a tent. Oh no, 